What's up guys, War here. Welcome back to another Season 28 build guide for you. And of course, we're bringing in the Barbarian, the Frenzy Crazy Horde of the 90 Savages build guide for you in Season 28. This is going to be your Hadred's gift for the Barbarian. So if you guys don't know that they buff Frenzy from 1000% damage to 2000% uh, increased damage per stack. So this build is actually pretty viable and is going to be pretty decent as your starter set in Season 28. So let's go over everything that you're going to need for the build as well as how to play this thing. So you're going to need five of the six pieces for Horde of the 90 Savages. The two set bonus is going to give you double the effectiveness of Shouts. You deal double damage to feared, frozen, or stunned enemies. The four set is the each frenzy stack reduces damage taken by 6% and frenzy lasts twice as long. Okay, and then the six set piece is the 2000% increased damage per stack instead of 1000. So huge. So you're pretty tanky. You deal a lot of damage and you attack really, really fast. Okay, so we've paired this with the Abdul set. The set is going to give us the reduced damage and increased damage, especially against elites. And then we paired this up with the Squirts Necklace for double damage, as well as Band of the Might and, uh, excuse me, Band of the Might for damage reduction, as well as COE for more damage. And then in the belt, you definitely need this belt, belt uh, the Undisputed Champion, because it's one of the main things that you need, because Frenzy gets every single rune and deals increased damage. So it is a must. The other must that you need for the build, guys, is the Oath Keeper. Your primary skills attack 50% faster and deal increased damage. We're going to be attacking with just Frenzy that's it guys this is the only thing we're going to be hitting with the only other move that we're using is furious charge to proc our band of might and to get around the map a little bit faster we paired this with ingium so that way we get our cooldowns now we don't have enough to get 100 percent uptime on wrath of the Zerker, but that is okay because we're going to be attacking so fast and dealing so much damage it's not going to matter our gems that we chose guys are wreath of lightning for movement speed and then Bane of the Trapped for damage as well as Simplicity Strength because of our primary attacks. Now, if you don't want um, Wreath of Lightning, you could definitely swap for uh, Gogok of Swiftness, which I've been testing with Wreath of Lightning for the movement speed, which is nice. But I kind of want to try this live for you guys and see how Gogok would do and see if we can keep permanent uptime on Wrath of the Berserker. I just want to test it because otherwise the speed boost from Wrath of or Wreath of Lightning is actually pretty good. Um, and then our gems are all diamonds for uh, cooldown and then uh, all resist. So into our cube, guys, Bastion's Revered or Bastion's Revered is the key item for this build. Okay, you, if you don't have this, you're gonna you're just going to suffer. Frenzy now stacks up to 10 times and hits an additional time per stack. Each additional hit will chain any enemies within 15 yards and damage the split between all of them so you not only attack fast but you're hitting everything in this 15 yard aoe which is great for when you group and pixel enemies then depth diggers for primary skill damage increase as well as ring of royal grandeur to pair the two sets into our skills and passives so of course we have frenzy cold it's a cold build with berserker you get six fury per attack and then you get the attack speed increase and it stacks up to five times we got Bloodshed, which deals AOE damage um, and critical hit increase over 20 yards every second. We got Ferocious Charge uh, Cold Rush because we do need to stun, so we get the additional proc. So this freezes enemies. And then we have Threatening Shout, so that way uh, people within 25 yards take more damage from all sources. This includes our Shouts. And then War Cry Veterans Warning to unleash everything to give us more armor and dodge chance. And then, of course, Wrath of the Berserker Insanity for um, damage increase, attack speed, movement speed, all that good stuff. Into our passives, we have Berserker Rage. We should always be at 100% Fury. Always. Or pretty close. So we get the damage increase there. Pound of Flesh, so that way we get our movement speed increase every time we pick up orbs. Uh, and then Boon of Glacothos for uh, cooldown. And then Rampage for more uh, damage now into our stat priorities guys for the helmet you want strength all resist crit chance shoulders you want strength all resist cooldown area damage the gloves you want strength attack speed crit crit the chest you want strength vitality all resist the uh squirts necklace you want a uh, strength is fine with crit crit but if you can get that to be uh cold damage then that's fine too our bracers cold damage strength vit crit chance our belt is strength vitality all resist frenzy damage our ring is strength crit crit 
our convention of elements is damage crit crit you could also swap strength for damage our pants is strength vit um frenzy damage boots is going to be strength vit all resist armor our offhand is going to be holy damage percent damage attack speed cooldown very important and then our on our main hand we got cold damage strength attack speed cooldown the same thing okay so that's the top priorities guys let's go over and hit a g90 and show you guys as we do how we play this build so when you hop in what you're going to do is you're going to pop your battle rage your veterans war cry and your threatening shout you don't have to pop this one right away because you need to be next to monsters but you want to pop this one and this one and then with your first group of monsters you want to charge up and hit them crackle wrath of the berserker then all you're going to do is run around and hit frenzy when any when this always pops up hit it same thing with frenzy ferocious charge the two veterans warnings when they finally go away recast them if you want but otherwise they should be up for the majority of the time all right so let's do this show you guys how this build works hit it just charge up threatening shout and you see the aoe damage that can happen as they explode which is great get that stun you can see our other two things just really the build is actually with the with the increase is not bad at all guys now I do want to mention that when you're running around, try to ferocious charge into groups so you stun as many enemies as possible. I would definitely try to um, ferocious charge as much as you can. Pop your threatening shout as much as you can on groups. And then other than that, all you do is run around and just frenzy people to death. Like small little ads. I'd probably skip those because of NGM. And just try to find elites and kill them as fast as possible so that way our ngm gets procced because we do want that for cooldown oops and then you just use ferocious charge to get around guys this is a really bad map by the way this does not showcase stuff well it showcases the aoe pretty good but keep berserker going there you go give me that back Oh, we missed one. We're bad at the game. Ferocious charge to get around. There we go. Now we're cooking. So the build is actually, like, really fun, guys. You know, for a primary-only build, you know, to be able to deal this much damage and just kind of farm stuff is really great. Keep things popping. And once you get an NGM trigger and you keep that going... Being able to ferocious charge constantly around. Look at that. You just decimate. It's so easy. The AoE damage takes care of the adds a lot. And you know, I made a whirlwind video video, guys, which you may have seen for season 28, but and I talked about how that's probably gonna be the better farming build. But you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and, and eat my words and say that this one is probably better. And as far as single target damage, it's no problem no problem besides the maps we kind of got some crappy maps but with this build you can do sub two and a half sub two minutes no problem make sure everything's procced it's a super easy build to play easy to gear it's just a really fun build i think we got just yeah 217 so just slightly faster but the build is really really fun guys you just need a lot of pieces as far as like the extra belt and then the bastions revered which i think you get from bounties but uh the build is very very strong it's much better than it ever was and it's just a really cool build it's something different if you're a barbarian maid um i mean my favorite build in barbarian is definitely hoda but uh this build is actually just really cool to attack that fast and just decimate so with it being Hadra's Gift, it's a great starter for Barbarian, and then you can swap to Whirlwind, or and then build up um, LOD Hoda, which is really cool. So, the Barb has some solid um, sets this season. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like. And if you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. And as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.